Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I'm going to be doing a tips and tricks video on how I thrift for the coquette aesthetic. Over the past few months, I've been doing like a little mini series on Instagram and TikTok where I post my thrift hauls and I also say like how much I spend for each one of them. And they've been doing really well and like the main question that I get on those is, uh, number one how and also where to thrift so i thought i would make a full youtube video about it because that's just what i do but yeah i'm gonna be going over basically like how i find this stuff where i go and just like other little like random tips and tricks i have like 10 different things that i have written out to share with you guys so i hope it is helpful i'm gonna be giving some like examples of things that i have bought in the past from thrift stores that i think go good with the coquette aesthetic and yeah that's basically it let's go ahead and get right into the video the first thing i want to talk about is where i thrift so this is it's kind of hard like i can't really say like specific places because it doesn't really matter since most of you guys don't live in my city nor do i want to like dox myself but i'll kind of give like some good examples that will make sense to wherever you live first suggestion i have which is one of my favorite places to thrift is charity shops now this can be places like goodwill but also just other like random charity shops that a lot of like suburban type areas might have so i definitely recommend looking there because they're not as picked through and you can honestly get like the cheapest price out of any of these another place i like is resale shops uh, i actually used to work at a resale shop for two years so that means that like people actually bring their clothes to you and then you sell them out on the floor so it's kind of you know it's a little bit more curated and you kind of get more like up-to-date trendier styles so that can also be helpful when you are looking for stuff for this aesthetic because i feel like you can find a lot of good basics in places like that a lot of times you can actually find really good prices sometimes they're about the same as charity shops sometimes they're a little bit more expensive kind of depends where you go um i really like plato's closet and buffalo exchange i don't know if you guys have those where you live but i definitely recommend looking up places Places like that because it's nice to get some variety another one that is also one of my go-to places especially when I find want to find something kind of more specific because you can actually search specific things and it makes it a little bit easier to find which is online thrift stores now my favorite place to do that is thread up eBay and Mercari which I really like but I like these kind of places because you can actually like search up specific stores and then shop by that or shop by style whatever you want to do I'll kind of go over that a little bit more later on in the video and the last place that I like to go is actual antique stores now for this it does tend to be a little bit more expensive but this is when I want to find something that's like real true vintage and something really old and like just i can always find really like beautiful things here i just think it's antique shopping is like a hobby like i just i love it so much it's like a museum and a store at the same time and it's just they're beautiful and perfect and i love them so much okay so tip number two is kind of what i actually look for in these places especially when i'm going in person um it's kind of nice to have like specific sections that you go to and then like little things that can kind of like pop out to you when you're just looking at it rather than like sifting through literally every single item of clothing these are just some like little things that i think specifically are good to find at thrift stores for this aesthetic because i feel like there's an abundance of them first thing lace trim tank tops i can like without a doubt always find stuff like this because these were very popular in like the uh mid to early 2000s era and these are really cute to like layer under cardigans layer under tops and have that lace peeking through and it's just a very coquette style in general another thing is umpire waist tops also a cute vintage style so a lot of thrift stores have stuff like this milkmaid tops to me that's just like any kind of like vintage like flowy top knit sweaters and cardigans that's a really good one to look for especially if you're going for that like uh like rory gilmore coquette kind of style a khaki skirt pleated skirts midi skirts floral and plaid skirts and dresses umpire waist dresses um any like y2k style dress i feel like is easy to find anything floral and anything gingham are also really good things just to look for and they all, i like those because they kind of just like catch your eye immediately so you can go straight there without having to sift through everything okay tip number three revolves around thrifting online which i absolutely love i mentioned the places that i like to thrift online which are mostly thrown up ebay macari there are other places you can go i also like pop poshmark a lot um there's like depop which i'm not a huge fan of because i feel like it's easy to get scammed but there is really good stuff on depop still you just have to be a little bit more careful i feel like but i have specific brands that i really like to search on these websites that i can always find cute stuff on um so the first one is brandy melville i mean this is a very popular brand in the coquette aesthetic but 
I don't, I'm trying not to like buy new stuff there. Like I'd rather like buy used because I just feel better about that ethically and I can find some really cute like vintage brand, not vintage Brandy Melville, that doesn't even, that doesn't even exist. But you know what I mean? Like some older Brandy Melville stuff that's like maybe sold out, stuff like that. So I recently bought like, like a little like tank top there. Cute. I'm so excited to get it and got it used, got it for a cheaper price. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um, some other places you can search for is UNIF, Urban Outfitters, Free People, Ralph Lauren, and Tommy Hilfiger are really good ones to search up, especially if you like that kind of more preppy coquette aesthetic. Um, this top that I'm wearing is from Tommy Hilfiger, but I bought it on ThreadUp, so you know you can find like more like preppy stuff like this. And then Princess Polly. A lot of these brands I just kind of like in general, and I think have good basics. And then if you search them up on those places you can just find like pages and pages and pages of different stuff from places like this and you know you can add more onto this list like basically take wherever you like to shop already and then search them up on these websites and you can probably find stuff like that so yeah that's nice because you can actually like search up like specific things like you definitely can't do that obviously in like a normal thrift store so that's why i love online thrifting so much especially if you want to find specific items you can also like search specific specific styles on these places too um some of them like the search engine is kind of like iffy so you never know what you're gonna get i do find that ebay though is the best one if you're going to like search like umpire waist top or like y2k um umpire waist y2k milkmaid top like more like specific aesthetic things i feel like it's good for ebay i'm not sure why that is but that's something to take note of okay tip number four is more of just a public service announcement. Don't get scammed when you're shopping online. I feel like it's easier on some websites to get scammed. So like if there is just like the online picture of the actual product and not like the actual like picture of it, of them wearing it or like of it like laid out on their bed or something. Um, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. For example, I saw a realization dress on Depop, which is a brand that's like really popular right now and kind of trending, but the stuff is like super expensive. You've probably seen one of their dresses on Pinterest. Um, I'll like insert some pictures right here, but I recently saw like a realization dress that like just came out this summer and it was online on Depop listed for $25 and it's a $200 dress and I'm like there's just no way like there's no way that stuff like that is real so you just have to you know be aware if it seems too good to be true it probably is do your research and yeah just just be safe out there guys okay tip number five is probably like one of my best tips in this entire video which is always check the pajama section because you can find the cutest like vintage nightgowns like little slip dresses um like lace camisoles in the pajama section like do not sleep on it like i can without a doubt always find stuff like that when i go to charity shops resale shops anything like that i literally always find stuff like this and these items also tend to be cheaper at stores like this because not a lot of people are you know checking the pajama section so they tend to mark those down um i just wanted to show some examples just to get my point across and also everything is like super comfortable and like low-key you can like wear these out and not just as pajamas so this is a vintage victoria's secret nightgown um this was like six bucks i think but look how beautiful it is like i love the lace detail very coquette i feel like i can put like a big knit cardigan over this and like actually wear it out if i wanted to next is this adorable little nightgown i feel like it's kind of washed out on camera but i literally got this for like two or three dollars look how gorgeous those details are up there it's so comfortable it's literally like a big just like smock that you put on this is probably like the coolest thing i've ever thrifted which is this long vintage nightgown um it's not super wearable because i don't know i i'm not like a victorian child but like this is vintage christian dior and i got it for two dollars like sometimes i'm like maybe it's like not real but i don't i don't want to think that and if it is like i i, I would rather not know i'd rather just you know live in bliss but it was only two dollars so it's fine but see there's a tag um yeah it's just beautiful i mean come on um okay next is like this little like vintage uh silk robe this is from a brand called sarah beth which is a really pretty nightgown place if you want to search that brand up on thread up or poshmark you can definitely find stuff like this as well this one i got actually a few weeks ago but it's just a little nightgown super duper comfortable and again this is one of those that i could like put a cardigan over and like actually wear out. And I just love like the pink and black floral with the lace detail. It's just very coquette and 
definitely always 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 check the pajama section tip number six is what is it i, I literally i literally forgot um, make a list before going in um i don't always do this so do as i say not as i do um, because sometimes I just like randomly go and I find whatever but if I'm specifically looking for something and lots of like things then I will make a little list just so I kind of have that um, direction and like manifestation of what I actually want to get um, now I know that's not really like a helpful tip for everyone so I'm sorry but if you are a list girl like I am then like make your list like even if it doesn't help you like it'll it'll make you feel good about yourself especially if you like can actually like physically check stuff off your list and you're like so i always make a list when i go to the grocery store and i feel really good when i like stick to my list and only buy things for my list and i get everything on my list and it's just a good feeling so if you're like that then make a list before you go in and another tip which is not really a tip just something i think people should do which is bring some kind of like a canvas bag or like a little tote bag when you go thrifting so that when you buy your stuff you can just put your stuff in your bag and not have to use a plastic bag at the thrift store because a lot of times they'll ask you if you have your own bag because some places don't even have bags and yeah i just think it's a good thing to do and i always do that when i go shopping anywhere so yeah okay my next tip is tip number seven which is when you're shopping in person try to this is like i don't really know how to verbalize this but like try to go to places where you wouldn't think that other people in that town or city or, or whatever would share the same aesthetic as you uh, just in general i feel like places like that are where you really find the good hidden gems because they're like the stuff that you're looking for won't be as picked through as say if i went to like a thrift store downtown where like people are you know more into the, the aesthetics like they are up with the trends so like those kind of styles that i'm looking for might already be picked through by the by the other girlies and i don't want that to happen so you want to go to places like maybe like in the suburbs or like a small town or something where you just like i live in the suburbs like nobody knows like what the coquette aesthetic is you know so it's like when i walk into a thrift store and i'm looking for like vintage blouses and like pink plaid and like little like slip nightgowns like that's not what like the average person in my town is looking for so i tend to find really good stuff at, in places like that so it's just something to like keep note of i know like not everyone has access to that but like if you're gonna if you're you know between going to like thrifting in a big city or like in a suburbs like i don't know check both i honestly do find really good stuff in like big cities and stuff because a lot of shops downtown tend to be more curated but you know you're also going to be spending like a higher price point so it's good to get variety but i definitely think that thrifting in the suburbs or a small town or in the middle of nowhere is like the best option i hope that makes sense okay tip number eight is always check the sale section uh, i am a sucker for a good deal i love a good deal a lot of times places will have like specific sale days like i know goodwill does that like it's like wednesdays you can get 75 percent off like the orange tag or something like that so definitely take note of those of like in your area when those days happen and then a lot of times places will have like a specific sale section now this is also helpful when you are shopping for aesthetics that aren't as popular because a lot of times not a lot of people like this style so they end up getting put on the sale rack which is a win for us for example i was like thrifting at a charity shop the other day and i found this on the two dollar rack for two bucks and now like the average person may think this is ugly but like i have a vision for this like to me this is like bookish rory gilmore kind of vibe you know like you have to have you have to have vision for specific items and a lot of times those items will be in the sales section so i always recommend checking there tip number nine is basically don't judge a book by its cover like a lot of these thrift stores so basically if if you if if how do i how do i even say this i, sh I should be like scripting my videos or something because like i just never even know what to say okay just because a store doesn't look like it would have your aesthetic in, aesthetic in it, I said that weird, just because a store doesn't look like it would have your aesthetic in it, like, doesn't mean that it won't. Like, a lot of times, those stores, like, have those really good hidden gems in it. Like, I don't walk into Goodwill and think, like, 
wow this place is so like lana del rey vinyl like this is such a vibe like no like it's not it's not catered to that aesthetic but you can always find those things like, hidden in the racks you know it's not going to be like on display or anything like that and with that like you really just kind of have to have like a little bit of vision a little bit of direction which is you know why i'm making this video hopefully to help but sometimes i really do find like the best items in those unsuspecting places again because not a lot of people that are shopping there are looking for the same things that i'm looking for so you can kind of find those good things and they also tend to be for a cheaper price okay tip number 10 my last tip doesn't really have anything to do with clothing or accessories or anything like that which is basically always look at the book and decor section i thrift most of the books that i buy and i can always find really pretty vintage covers in there and just like classics for like a dollar two dollars fifty cents like always look in the book section i always find books that i like there and especially like classics because those are obviously more popular books so they tend to be at the thrift store more often so definitely look in that section room decor home decor it you should always go to uh, antique stores to look for stuff like that because you can really find like the most beautiful like decorative antiques to put in your room or home and yeah it's like my favorite place to find decor i also like going to charity shops too like goodwill has a an amazing selection of decor and again you can find stuff like that for super cheap like i like to get little trinkets like little bookends and stuff like that to go in my room and a lot of times you can find this kind of like vintage romantic style in the thrift store so definitely always look at the books and decor and clothes do not sleep on any section you never know where you will find a gem okay that is basically everything i have in today's video i hope it was helpful for you guys i hope you actually got some good tips out of this and i'm not just like stating the obvious i i always feel like i'm stating the obvious like i don't know maybe i am maybe i'm not hopefully it was like help as long as it's helpful to like one person then i guess i have done my job if you guys have any more tips and tricks you want to share with the class then please put those down below um thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok and pinterest all of that will be linked down below as well and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys next time bye